Which football fans are more committed, the Spanish or the Irish? Do the Dutch only sing when they're winning? Did anyone believe England could win? And what's it got to do with a tech company from Japan? As a leading manufacturer of TVs, what better way to reintroduce yourself than via a Europe-wide event passionately watched by over 350 million people? So Sharp signed up as an official sponsor. But we weren't going to just sit on the sidelines. We wanted to get involved and bring something new to the party. Most sponsors are obsessed with the players, so we focused on the fans. This is why we created Sharp Fan Labs, Europe's largest ever study of football fans. To kick things off, we ran a series of online and mobile tests. Each measured a different part of being a football fan to work out whether you're a ball watcher, a glory hunter, or another of our 16 fan types. Fans could also see how they compared to their mates, their country, and the rest of Europe. Then, during the tournament, we ran daily online polls while our mobile labs were on the ground at Euro 2012 to capture the live reaction of the fans. Thanks to our biometric brain scanners, for the first time we could monitor not just what the fans were saying, but what they were actually thinking during every match. All this gave us a wealth of data, which we passed on to our team of experts to analyse. Their analysis fed a constant stream of research on our site, following the ups and downs throughout the tournament. The same research then powered our advertising. We ran contextual print and digital ads throughout Euro 2012, and our sponsorship idents played in over 30 countries across Europe. We also shared our findings on Facebook in nine different languages, sparking conversation and debate, and used them to inspire a football culture daily blog called Fanageddon. But best of all, others started spreading the word for us. Our research was reported across Europe, from Sky News to La Gazzetta della Sport, and even Wired and Playboy magazine, earning us free media coverage worth many times more than the value of our media spend. More coverage meant more fans taking part, which gave us more data to power more advertising so even more fans could take part. As a result, over 200 million people experienced fan labs in just four weeks. So Sharp now has an innovative platform for ongoing communications, which establishes their credentials as an inventor for society, plus a wealth of data to drive future R&D so they can develop even better TVs to watch football on. And our research found that despite vastly different on-field success, off the field, the Irish remain 30% more committed than the Spanish. The Dutch apparently do only sing when they win. Pride fell off a cliff once they got knocked out. And absolutely no one else believed that England could win Euro 2012. But we're definitely going to win Brazil 2014.